So JP, I believe it's important for job seeker, even before applying for a job, as we spoke in previous video, to identify their values or who they are, what are what problems they want to solve, or how to have a good mindset before even applying for a job. Do you have any suggestions or any tips how to reach that mindset or how they to identify their personal values before applying for a job? Maher, for so many people, that approach doesn't work. Starting with yourself. Mm -hmm. That's a big statement to make because that is the classic approach to career development. And it should be because career development practitioners, advisors, counselors, coaches, they are very good mm -hmm. at helping people increase their self-awareness, discover strengths, yes. values, you know, uh, abilities. Um, there's so much to go and dig and find there. However, for the people that this doesn't work for, mm -hmm. what if instead of starting by crystallizing your past self, your past identities, you created a future self aspirationally? Mm -hmm. So instead of looking inwards, you could start by looking, what does the world need? What are the problems out there that need to be solved? What are the interesting topics and development? What are the challenges we can meet? Yes. Then you explore and work backwards. Okay, you know what, for me, you know what a challenge that I want to solve is? I want to redesign the healthcare system. Yes. I'm going to work backwards to find, well, what companies are doing that? Who works there? What did they have to learn to be able to do that? Yes. And through all this data, I can create a new identity, a new aspirational self, mm -hmm. rather than crystallize who I was in the past. And this is a very liberating way of doing career exploration. It's a very freeing, empowering way to broaden one's horizons about what's out there. And this is important because most students and job seekers limit themselves at the start of the search. They limit themselves to the 20, 30, or 50 job titles that they know Yeah. when there are about 20,000 job titles out there. So that's my recommendation for how to start the process differently. That is a very interesting approach. I really appreciate it, JP, and I hope the audience will starting. And if they have any questions, they can reach out to you on LinkedIn and ask more questions or follow you on LinkedIn also. Again, for the audience, if you have more tips, you can leave them below. And tune in next time for my final question with JP.